knew that reishi tea was one of Milwaukee's best kept secrets, but I didn't know their location was a secret as well. Let's see if I'm authorized to enter. Hey, Kazao. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Did you find it all right? Well, it was a little tough. Anyone else this week? All right, come on in. Okay. Welcome to Rishi Tea. Here's our headquarters. Thanks. I gotta get going, but Sean's gonna take care of you. He's preparing a cup of tea. Well, thanks, Gazelle. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, Sean. Hey, Jessica. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, well, I'm excited to learn about Rishi Tea. Well, great, came to the right place. What do you got for me today? Um, today, we're gonna be brewing some Emerald Lily. Okay. It's a um, green tea from Yunnan. And then, are these teas organic or fair trade? This tea that we're drinking here is organic and fair trade. Uh, the majority of the teas that we sell are organic and fair trade. So how does fair trade translate Welcome. into the tea world? Well, with our particular project, we started a fair trade initiative because in Yunnan, China, 90% of the population is living in the red zone of poverty. And so we found it particularly important that these people who have such a unique tea heritage be given back for all that they've given us. And so what are some of the things that uh, your, your investment in their communities have done? Well, in this particular community, um, we've done a number of things from helping develop their infrastructure, um, building a cultural resource center, and we also sent the first student of the village to go to college. Great. So this is one tea. Uh, do you have some other teas that we could uh, try with you and you could give us your expertise on the differences between teas? Absolutely. I think um, the logical step would be to continue with the Yunnan teas and I can bring you into our tea cupping lab and show you all the varieties of teas that we can produce just from this one region. So what is tea cupping? Tea cupping? Well, let's get started. I'll show you. Great. Welcome to our lab. Thank you. You can take wow, your cup. thanks. Wow. What I've done here, before you showed up, I had all these cups laid out and I've put in three grams of tea okay. uh, per cupping set. And the idea is that you want every single cup here to be evaluated equally. Huh, so you're gonna wanna have the same temperature and have the same conditions for drinking each of the teas? Exactly, and then we're really just studying the nuanced differences between the teas rather than you know preparing it totally from scratch. Well, can, get, can we give some of these a try? Most definitely. Okay. It's important that we're filling the tea to the same level with each cup. You can already start to smell some of the, uh, the aromas coming off the tea. Absolutely. And so these are set up so that we can decant quickly. Oh. But now you don't want to move too fast because when you remember, as I was pouring, it took a little time to fill the teacup all the way. Sure. Well, I believe that this was developed by um, British tea tasters okay. for black tea to evaluate many lots of black tea and then to be blended together. But this has become an industry standard. You see them pretty much anywhere that you travel that's importing or exporting tea. Okay. And what are you looking for in, in these teas and in the tea leaves? Well, depending on the tea, we're going to be looking for different things. Okay. But in every cup of tea, we're looking for primarily defects. We want to make sure that there's no storage flavor. We want to make sure that there's no processing flavor like a coal aroma or a burnt aroma. Mm -hmm. And then we want to look for all the beautiful things inside the tea, too. The first step is to smell the hot aroma of the tea leaves. Okay. And we're not going to check the infusion, we're going to check the cup itself. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hold the teacup on one hand like this and the other hand on the lid here. And we're just going to open it up a little bit and smell. Like that. Okay. <laughs> so you're only going to, you're going to open it up from the top like that. Okay. There you go. Okay. Very natural. Oh, thank you. What we do here is you kind of want to stir it a little bit make sure that you get an even scoop. Very light. This is going to have a little bit of stringency, mm -hmm. a little bit more um, aggressive characteristic. It's not as it's not as tame as the other teas. And does that come that tame nature, that refined nature, come through the processing? Exactly. And this is just the sun dried tea, and so you get more vegetal, more like cooked, mm -hmm. stewy uh, flavor. If if someone wanted to learn a little bit more about Rishi tea and where they find it, where would they go? Um, well www.rishitea.com is a great place. There's a lot of information there. And 
Um, definitely stop out and see us at any one of our events. We're constantly doing tea tastings and trade shows throughout the U.S. Is there anything like cheers in China or when you're drinking tea? Well, I don't think that there's a specific cheers um, unless we're drinking alcohol. They may say gambe. Well, let's pretend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're in America, right? We can do what we want. Exactly. Gambe. <laughs> gambe.